coquito is a drink that most Puerto Ricans are familiar with, a creamy coconut treat that shows up every year around the holidays. But how did coquito become this iconic drink in Boricua households each year? So coquito is, is pretty well known as far as I can tell in terms of one of the kind of signature drinks in Puerto Rico. As part of my research, I did a lot of online research to figure out more about the drink and its history. And overall, what I found was that there are some different versions of the origin story of Poquito. Um, so I wasn't able to pinpoint one specific version that's really considered the official one. But, uh, but the, in the information that I did find, I saw that it's, um, as a lot of locals know, most locals know, it's obviously a very popular drink and it's a drink that people mostly have around Christmas. For Boricuas, Coquito bottles are out from Thanksgiving all the way until January for Three Kings Day. But what exactly goes into making Coquito? So everybody has their own recipe, but the basics of it, it's pretty much the, the coconut cream that has to be Coco Lopez because that is the brand. One of the condensed milk, the evaporated milk and the rum. And the rum can make a huge difference. And then there's a million other recipes depending if you want to add flavors. You can do Nutella, you can do regular chocolate, you can do peppermint, you can do turrón, you can do like whatever flavor you can think of, you can make it in Coquito. And even though there's a variety of recipes and methods for making coquito, why has it become associated with the holidays for both Puerto Ricans at home and abroad? So I think the concept of family is, tends to be really important in Puerto Rico. And so I think it's just become part of, of family celebrations and, and then it somehow gets passed down from family member to family member to the generations. So I think that that's something that, because it represents our culture, it represents us having like a piece of our island, a pedacito de Puerto Rico with us, then we just bring it here and we make it for everybody else and we share a recipe. It's not one of those secrets that we want to keep. We want everybody to learn how to make coquito, have it at their parties. So I think that it has become a huge staple of the Puerto Rican diaspora here in the United States.